All right, boys and girls, coming back to you again with a little bit more old school cards. So I've been building up my old school collection. We've almost got a full beta set. So here is one of the power cards that we need to complete it. This is my first black bordered power nine that I will have ever owned. And I've been playing since 1996. Mirage was out. Visions was about to come out. Then Weatherlight. Then Tempest. Stronghold Exodus and the Wrath Cycle. And then, of course, the infamous Urza's Block, which was my favorite. And then was the set that I stopped playing so here it is in beta collector's edition <laughs> so I just want to be careful with this there we go $600 or best offer, $299 shipping. What did we pay? $400. Yes, $400. It's very nice. The card is nice. It's a little loved. Like, it doesn't have any, like, scratches or anything. Let's take it out. I am slicing the tape. Right now. Actually, I'm going to just peel it. I'm not going to slice it. Okay. And it is sleeved, so we'll let it... I'm surprised that's not dropping it out. At all. Okay. Okay, if here is a good way, and I'm looking actually, let's do it like this. And just remove it. Let's check that surface. Hmm. It's definitely real. Just has some wear, decent amount of wear. I'd say LP to MP for the age. I mean, it's LP. It's still a very beautiful card. So we're going to hurry up and get this in a gold dragon shield. Um, I'm going to quickly grab a flashlight so we can do... I mean, I've never seen a fake collector's edition card. I'm not even going to uh, authenticity check this on camera. There's really no point. You can tell this is real. Um, plus, we got here a little free advertising for Mohawk sports cards. All right. Well, thanks for coming and checking it out. I mean, this is my first piece of black power, black bordered power, black power, white power, white power. Thanks for coming and checking out my channel, white power. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this is my first black portered piece of white power. <laughs> I just can't talk. But no, this is my first piece of black bordered power 
um, ever. I've had the privilege of having quite a few pieces of unlimited power. Um, and I hadn't really ever gotten into collector's edition, so um, I had never gotten any black bordered power, not even collector's edition. So here we are. Um, trying to make a full set of Power 9 and duels outside of the full set we already have. So, a, maybe going to collect them, maybe going to flip them. I don't know if it's, if the money's there and collecting keeps going well, then, um... We'll keep adding and maybe just try to like hoard up the collector's edition. I will tell you this. If you go on eBay and you search any piece of power, collector's edition or unlimited, there are less copies of collector's edition than unlimited. There are actually typically less copies of collector's edition than there are Alpha and Beta combined. Maybe not Alpha, maybe not Beta, but Alpha and Beta combined. And usually um, less than Beta. So it really goes to show the rarity, especially in the power of the Collector's Edition, because so many people back in the day were trying to reback these things. They weren't worth much of anything for a very long time. You could buy the entire set for $50. And then again, for a long time, you could buy the set for maybe a thousand, two thousand bucks at the most for a sealed, beautiful condition. Um, so these are very rare. And I am one of the people who speculate eventually uh, if people, okay, people are getting, not playing as much standard paper magic, but they're going back to their roots and they want to play these cards. So they're getting these cards and, um, I feel like they have to make the collector's edition probably tournament legal if they want to continue to support vintage in any kind of capacity. But this has been a seven and a half minute opening for one card. So I'm sure everyone has either tuned out or is tired of listening. So here one more time. Let's check out the mock sapphire up close. You know, this goes to show that a lot of the proxies are really good, really good in the picture and the border and the text. But when you get to this text box and you get to the multicolored faceted, it looks like a purling, jeweling effect, I always call it. Um, they can't hit it right. And it's always um, kind of staticky or pixelated, grainy, gr granulated looking. So now that we're up to eight and a half minutes, I'm going to cut the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful card. I mean, collector's edition or not, it's a gorgeous card. Thanks again, guys. Talk to you soon.